I'll be sharing with you one of the best AI tool for coding and it is absolutely free. This one AI tool is extremely useful while coding or while developing any sort of application. The name of this AI tool is Kodi AI. You can go in extension, just click on it and here you'll be able to see Kodi AI. Just type over here Kodi. You'll be able to find Kodi AI. I have already installed it in my VS Code. Just go and install it. After that, you'll be able to see this icon, Kodi AI. This is the main icon. One of the amazing thing about this AI extension is its code suggestion feature. Now, let me show you how to actually do that. I have made one JavaScript file and here, if I want to print hello world, here, if I just type console and just by typing the console, just look at that, how it suggests the entire code. All you need to do is just to click on tab and here you are able to see that it have completed the entire code now with an another example let me show you how this feature actually works now let's say if i just want to find out the sum of first and natural number I'll write a program to find the sum of first and See how it suggests the code natural number number using for loop. Okay, for loop. So let me show you how its entire suggestion work. See how it suggested the entire code. All you need to do is just to click on tab and it have provided the entire output it sometimes used to make an error yes so as you can see the sum is 15 it have provided the entire thing if you are building something new application make sure you use this auto generation feature i hope you are able to understand what i actually meant now let's talk about the next most amazing feature about kodi ai it's chat generation now this extension uses ai models if you just click over here you will be able to see a bunch of icons a chat bar will open up and here you will be able to see this chat and here you will be able to find the history then prompt and commands the setting icon here you can do a bunch of settings and here you will be able to see new chat if you just click on new chat here you will be able to see type at the rate and add context initially it will look like this the entire bar will be empty so if you just enter at the rate and after that you can enter whatever file that you have inside your vs code if you just click on files you can add all these files at the rate and whatever file that you want to enter like quiz.html quiz.css then um let's say at the rate once again and if you want to add any sort of specific file you can enter this specific file and this both file are connected with each other so at this point if you get stuck at some point or if you are facing any sort of problem at one point it will analyze both of these files and it will understand the query that you are making and with respect to that it will provide the output i hope you are able to understand how it actually works here you will be able to find all these ai models now here you can enter gem and gemini 1.5 flash as you can see over here whatever enlightened ai models you can see those are actually free and the other things that you can see claw 3 opus and gpt 40 these two are paid you can use these ai models in order to generate your code now which and that will be depending on your preference so i basically use cloth 3.5 sonnet because it works really great for me however you can also use a gemini 1.5 pro you can use this ai model also or you can also use cloth 3 haiku but i really recommend to use cloth 3.5 sonnet now it's one of the most amazing thing is that you can use llm models so all you need to do is just to install llm now those are basically language models or in other words we can say large language models you can use bunch of llm models here if you just click on models you will be able to see bunch of llm models here you will be able to find 3.1 which is the latest llm model 8 billion parameter 70 billion parameter or 405 billion parameter size how to install llm models and run it locally i have already made one video the link in the description you can definitely go and check out whichever you want to install you can just go and install it and after installing it you can use llm models over here i have these three llm models installed in my computer system right now and i can use any one of these llms like if i want to use stable code 
or if i want to use llama 2 i can also do that now i really recommend you to use cloth 3.5 solid because it will be running under cloth 3.5 and it will be really fast and if you're using llm models over here the code generation will be very slow i really recommend you to use cloth 3.5 sonnet i hope you are able to understand this thing now here you can see the documentation part if you just go over here you will be able to see this entire documentation that source graph have provided here you will be able to see the main features about auto complete the chat box the prompt and commands it also can debug code it also have filters code can ignore selected repositories from chat and auto complete the result click on this hoverable links over here and it will just tell you how to actually do all these things so if you just go and read it properly and read the guide properly and just use it over here it will be really easy over here now for an example you are not able to understand a particular code so at this point what you can do is just click on explain code it will analyze both of these files or whatever file that you will add over here it will analyze all these files and after that it will explain the entire code over here and that will make your understanding better it will actually help you for building your logics and here you will be able to see the history icon whatever chattings that you have done if you want to access all these chatting you can definitely go and check out like last month what chat that you did like you feel like you need this chattings in order to solve your current problems so at this point you can definitely go inside of your history and just access the chattings this is the third section prompt and commands i personally haven't used this feature you can check it by yourself these are really amazing feature i'm telling you just go in the documentation site and just check out it by yourself how to actually do that in this fourth icon you will be able to find this setting icon here whatever necessary settings that you want to do if you want to do any sort of settings just go and just do it here is the thing so let's say you are working for logic building or practicing coding problems so at this point you can go and disable the autocomplete code generation if you do that then what will happen is that whatever thing that i have showed like here the autocomplete part there will not be any sort of autocomplete it will be just as it is I hope you are able to understand when to use this autocomplete feature. So that is it. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you love this video, then make sure to do like and subscribe and hit the bell icon for getting more and more important video updates. And I will see you next time.